could also be part of their future. Question number nine, the Honourable Tim McIndoe. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister for ACC. Does he stand by all of his answers to oral questions on the 24th and 25th of October, including his answer that he will neither rule in or out any proposed increases to ACC levies? Mr. Speaker, Ian Mr Speaker, yes, including the clarification that I made on the 25th of October. Why did the Minister claim that ACC needs to increase motor vehicle levies, further raising petrol taxes, when the 2017 annual report upon which levy adjustments were proposed in the consultation process confirms that revenue from that source was above 110 per cent, and a further result above 110 per cent is revealed in the 2018 annual report, while ACC's funding position target in both of those reports is only 105 per cent? Uh, because, Mr Speaker, uh, contrary to what the member just said, it's not uh, that the revenue is 110 per cent, it's that the assets are 110 per cent of the total liabilities. Uh, the, that that uh, asset to liability ratio actually maxed out uh, at 115.7 per cent under the previous government. Uh, it has been dropping. It has been dropping since then. And in order to maintain a steady progress towards 105 per cent, the midpoint of the 100 to 110 per cent, we have to make sure that levies are set in an appropriate level. That decision ultimately, of course, is a decision for Cabinet. Cabinet is yet to make that decision. If, as the Minister said last week, that ACC's accounts need to be brought back to being more sensibly funded, and that Cabinet will take that into account when it makes a decision about future ACC levies, isn't this proposal, which would see a further increase in petrol tax when New Zealanders are already feeling considerable pain at the pump, a long way from being, quote, very convincing? Uh, Mr Speaker, well, the, the member makes a good point that ultimately I and Cabinet have to be convinced by the case that ACC makes. ACC is yet to make that case. But I would also point out, and this is important for the member to know, if he wishes to be an effective opposition spokesperson, that the funding policy that ACC is legislated to work under requires it to give effect to the, uh, to the target band of 100 to 110 per cent, and that if, if the assets uh, to liability ratio is outside of that target band, that it must set levies at a rate that will allow it to achieve that band over a 10-year horizon. That is the funding policy statement that was put in place by the Honourable Nikki Kay. So in light of that answer, will he now rule out a 12.1 per cent increase in motor vehicle levies and commensurate increase in petrol tax given that ACC has reported results well above its own funding position target for the motor vehicle account in each of the last three financial years. Mr Speaker, I reiterate that although I have said that ACC will need to make a very convincing case, they have only just completed their consultation. They have yet to make a recommendation to me, and I am yet to make a recommendation to, go to the Cabinet. What I will do is take into account not only uh, the rate at which ACC can return uh, its accounts to the appropriate level of funding, but also uh, matters such as the cost of living and costs that are faced by middle-income New Zealanders. And that is the decision that Cabinet will make. Question number 10, Jonathan Young. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question to the Minister.